This box contains the Creality Ender 3 3D printer. I recently was checking online and I'm interested in 3D printers abstractly, but not in the concrete because they cost money. And then I found out that the prices had dropped. I said, well, that's awesome. 3D printing is dropping down to the level where like, consumers will be able to do it, 3D printer in every home to make stuff. I thought it would be awesome. And then I noticed how much they dropped. There are decent 3D printers for 200 bucks. And 200 compared to 1,000 is suddenly like doable. So I got one. I have never used one before. I have never run one before. I don't know what I'm doing. This is gonna be awesome. So now we've got everything unpacked in a pile here and here, it's time to start building. Wiring it up uh, was possible, doable. All the instructions are designed to be written and understood without like any words, which is nice so long as you have all the information you need. And there were a couple of places where there was either a picture missing, but the part name was there, and so it's all there. All the information is there. It just wasn't super readable at points. But it works! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you see that? Okay, it's moving. This is tremendously cool. So, it's convinced that it is as far down as it can go. Why? Right, there's no window switch being hit. That should work. Come on, Z. So that's probably not the button to use. Go back to prepare. Auto home. That was not good. going to do until it hits a limit switch. That's what it's going to do. In the meantime, that clip is in a very bad place, and my finger is also. Okay. Now, it's probably going to figure out... Prepare. Auto home. Okay, we did that. Move axis, cool down, preheat. Uh, this is interesting. Okay. Now this device came with a micro SD card and a reader, USB, that it uses to get the files into the machine. And that connects to a place that is... Ah, here. This is our first 3D print. 